it's time for a new you can draw this video and we are going to create something really fun today it's a window with a view and a cute little kitty cat as always i will guide you through every single step but i might sound a little bit more like gina from brooklyn 99 than usual because i have a cold so don't pay any attention to that do pay attention to these lovely works I found on Instagram. Don't forget to share your work on Instagram once you're finished following this tutorial. Tag me in the image so I will be able to find your work and perhaps we'll see it next time. And now let's get started. Are you ready? First of all, the canvas is 2300 pixels by 3000 pixels. First thing we'll do is draw a circle and we'll do that by using the monoline brush and you can find it under calligraphy. And for the color, we will use this color right here in the color palette, which you can download for free through the link in the description. And if you really want to use the exact same colors I'm using, then be sure to set your color profile to sRGB. Now my brush is set to 100% opacity and the size of the brush is set to 40%. And first thing we'll do is draw a circle. You can just draw a circle, hold your pen in place, and then tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Then drag in this colored circle into your shape to fill your circle. And then you can go to the arrow here at the top, make sure you have it set to uniform, and go to snapping, and turn snapping on. And now you can make sure that your circle is in the exact center of your canvas and you can resize it a bit. I'll go for something like this and place it around here and you can see that orange line and that means that it's in the exact center. Then just click the arrow again to get out of there. Next we'll go to the layer menu, that's these two little squares, and click the plus for a new layer. Then we'll go to the selection tool, that's the S shape ribbon here at the top, and set it to rectangle. And you can turn on color fill. And now we are going to make a square, let's start about here. Drag it down until you have something like this. And I will click the S shape ribbon again, and then the arrow, the move tool. And now we are going to resize our rectangle. You can set it to freeform. And we are going to drag these handles until you see that blue line. That means that it's nicely aligned with that circle. And here you need that blue line as well. You're going to drag this up a little. And then once you have a rectangle that you like, you can click that arrow again to get out of that menu. And sometimes you need to adjust it just a little bit more. You can see a little, little edge. Then just go back to the move tool and drag these handles again to snap it to that blue line. And then you can go out again and check if it's nice and tidy. Now we can merge these two layers. We'll go to the layer menu, the two little squares, click layer two and select merge down to merge these two layers. And now we can easily adjust the size of our window a little bit by going to that, that arrow, set it to uniform. And let's make it a little bit smaller and make sure that it's exactly centered. and then click the arrow again. Now we are going back to the layer menu and we are going to duplicate this layer. You can drag to the left and then click duplicate. Then select the lower layer, go to the color palette and pick this first color in the color palette and drag it on top of that shape. You can't really see it right now, but now our bottom window is darker. And we are going to make this window a little bit bigger. We'll go to the move tool again and drag that handle in the corner to make it a little bit bigger. And then make sure that it's centered again. We want a very thin edge. We can make it a little bit bigger. And just make sure that it's nicely centered like that. And now we'll go back to the layer menu and duplicate this layer. Drag to the left. Click duplicate and select the lower layer again. Then we'll go back to the color palette and we will select this second color 
in the color palette and drag it onto the shape. Again, you won't be able to see it yet, but when we use the move tool, we can make it bigger and then you'll see that it's a slightly different color. Make it a little bit bigger, drag it to the center, and I'm going to set it to freeform. I'm going to make the sides a little bit thinner. A very small edge. Make this a bit lower as well. And I want to make sure that it's not sticking out here at the bottom. So I'm aligning that. And just make sure that these sides are very thin and you have a thicker edge here at the top. And then just click the arrow to get out of the menu. Next we are going to add some lines to our window. We'll create a new layer on top, so first click layer 1, the top layer 1, click the plus, then click that layer and select clipping mask. Now whatever we paint on layer 4 will only show up on this layer 1. For the color, we are going back to that first color in the color palette and we'll still be using that mono line brush. Drag a line from the top to the bottom. Hold your pen in place and then tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly vertical line. Now make another one over here. Hold your pen in place and tap one finger on the screen. To make sure that these are nicely centered, we'll go to the move tool again, the little arrow, and we'll drag this around until it's nicely centered. You'll see that blue line. Then click the arrow again to get out of there. Now we will make the horizontal lines. We'll start here in the center. Hold your pen in place and then tap one finger on the screen again to make it snap to a perfectly horizontal line this time. Then we'll make another one here in the middle. Hold one finger on your screen and then another one over here. And be sure to hold one finger on your screen. And now let's add a background color. We'll go to the layer menu, click background color and select that first color in the color palette. For the next step, we are going to create a gradient. We'll go back to the layer menu, click layer one, the top layer one, click that layer and turn on alpha lock. Now we won't be able to paint outside of this shape. For the brush, we'll go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. The opacity of this brush is set to 75% and the size is at 10%. Let's start with this third color in the color palette and we'll drop it at the bottom. Just make horizontal strokes and slowly fill that bottom area. And since the brush is a little bit transparent, the opacity is at 75%, you'll need multiple strokes to make it opaque. Now we'll switch to the fourth color and we'll add that here. We'll slowly move up. Then you can guess it, we'll go to the fifth color, that nice pink, and add that to this center area. And then finally, we'll switch to this color over here, the six, and add that here to that top area. Just make sure that you keep that orange here at the top, that base color, don't cover that. And now we'll go to the magic wand here at the top, click Gaussian Blur and select Layer. Now you can slide your pen or your finger to the right and blur this layer to make a nice smooth gradient. I'll go for 30%. And then just click the magic wand again. Now we'll add some touches to the window. Let's go to the layer menu and we are going to select layer one. You can't miss it. The first layer one. Let's click it and then select mask. With a mask, you can mask parts of your layer using black. It's already set to black. We'll still be using that soft brush. And we are going to mask this lower area. Just go over that lower area, blocking that. The bottom part will be completely blocked. And you'll still see that top area. And I'd like to add a little glow here at the top. Now to make sure we won't be painting outside of the shape, 
We are going to click the layer and then select Alpha Lock. We'll still be using that soft brush. And for the color, we are going to use, you know what? We are going to pick a color from the screen. You can just hold your finger in place here in the center to pick that color. Or you can use this little square to pick it that way. And now we are going to add a glow here at the top. Just gently paint over that area to add a little glow. I want to add a little glow in the bottom area as well. We'll have to go to layer one for that and that's the second layer one. And again, we'll turn on alpha lock so we won't be painting outside of the shape. And now we are going to the selection tool, turn off color fill, but we'll still have it set to rectangle. And now we are going to start at the left side here of the window and make a rectangle this way from one side of the window to the other side. Then we'll still be using the soft brush and let's pick a color again. Let's pick a nice pink and go over this area to add a little bit of a glow like that and then just click the S shape ribbon again to get out of that menu. I would like to move the window up a little bit to create some more space at the bottom of our canvas. Now a way to do that is by going to the layer menu and select every layer. We can swipe to the right to do that and then go to the move tool over here. And now we can just move it up and just make sure that it's still centered. And then click the move tool, the arrow again to get out of that menu. Now let's add some glow to the floor. We'll create a new layer. Click layer four first, then click the plus for a new layer and drag it all the way to the bottom. We will use the selection tool again, the S shape ribbon, still set to rectangle. And we'll start here in the lower corner and make a selection of the lower part of our canvas like that and then we'll still be using that soft brush and for the color we are going to use this fourth color in the color palette let's make our brush a little bit bigger let's go for 16 percent and let's add a little glow here i'm making circular motions to add this glow to the floor And once you have your glow, you can click the S shape ribbon again to get out of that menu. In the next step, we are going to add some buildings to our scene. So let's create a new layer. Let's go to the layer menu. And of course we want those buildings to be behind those lines. So first we'll click layer one, that window layer here, and then click the plus for a new layer. Then for the color, we are going to pick this second color over here in the bottom row. And we are going to use the selection tool again. And you can set it to color fill. That way you'll immediately see your buildings come to life. And we are going to start just below that middle area, that middle line of our window. And we are just going to make rectangles, basic building shapes. And you can make some thin ones and some broader ones. Just vary the shapes a bit. And work your way from the left to the right. But of course you can also use the free building brushes from the free from flow treasure chest. That will be fine as well. But this time I have decided to make some very stylized shapes, some very simple shapes for our buildings. Until you have something like this and then you can just click the S shape ribbon to get out of there. Now let's create another layer for even more buildings. Let's click the plus for that new layer. And for our color, we are going to pick the third color over here. And again, we'll use that selection tool set to color fill. And let's work our way from the left to the right again, making these various rectangular shapes.
In case you are up to something more challenging than this, then you might want to check out my Patreon page because there I share a lot more tutorials, ranging from beginner levels to more advanced levels. Just make some thin ones and some broader ones, giving that suggestion of buildings here. Like that, and then just click the S shape ribbon again. Now I can see I've missed some spots, so I'll just go back to the selection tool and fill these little gaps to tidy it up a little bit. And then click the S shape ribbon again. Now let's add a little bit of mist. First I'll go back to layer seven and let's select this fourth color in the color palette. And we'll still, we're still using the soft brush now let's go over that layer a little bit, adding some glow here at the bottom. We'll do the same for layer eight. Just select layer eight and add a little bit of glow here at the bottom. And if you want even more buildings, then you can go and grab my buildings brush set. It contains a lot of buildings I am going to use let me see. I'm going to use the Empire State Building. I'm going to drop in a little extra. I'll go to layer one first and then click the plus for a new layer. And I'll select this first color over here. So this is not a necessary step, but it can add a little extra. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and the size is at 35%. And I'm just going to drop the building in, then click the arrow for the move tool and move it up a little bit. This is nice. Then I'll click the arrow again and I'm going to lower the opacity of this layer a little bit. You can click the N on the layer and then I'll go to 65%. Next, I'd like to add some clouds. We'll go to layer eight and click the plus for a new layer. And again, we are going to use the selection tool, but first let's pick a color. We are going to use this last color over here, that yellow, and then go to the selection tool, use freehand, and select color fill. And we are going to make some random stylized cloud shapes. I'll start over here, making these long lines, very random shapes. And every time you make a selection, make sure that you go back and click that little circle to close your selection. Making these very long shapes like that. And then you can go to remove and you can remove little parts of your selection, adding interest to these shapes. Making very random shapes here. And then just click the S shape ribbon to get out of that menu. And to make this look more subtle, we'll go to the layer menu, click the N and lower the opacity of the layer. We'll go all the way back to 50%. Now let's add a final touch. Let's add a little cat to our scene. We're going to make a new layer on top of all the others. So first click layer four, then click the plus. And for the brush, we'll go back to the monoline brush under calligraphy. And for the color, we will pick that first color in the color palette. And let's just zoom in a little bit. We are going to place it over here. And first we'll make a circle. Hold your pen in place and then click edit shape here at the top. You can move these handles. Until you have something like this, then fill that shape and make another circle. A smaller one for its head. Again, click edit shape. I think this is nice, then fill it 
and add a little bit to the sides to make it merge with the body a bit better. Let's add a little tail. We'll start here at the bottom. Make a snake-like line. Something like this. And now let's add some ears. We'll go to the S shape ribbon, have it set to color fill and to freehand. And now we are going to add triangles to its head. Those will be the ears. First click here, then click there, there, there to make a little triangle. Then one over here, like that. And when you click the S shape ribbon again, you can see that we have these nice little ears. To make the cat stand out a little bit more, we are going to add a little bit of a rim light. First go to the layer menu, click the layer with the cat, and then select alpha lock so we won't be able to paint outside of the shape of the cat. Then go to the brushes and use the 4B compressed under charcoals. And for the color, we are going to pick this nice pink over here. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and the size is very small at 1%. And just go along the edges to add a little bit of a glow, a little bit of a rim light to our cat. That way it'll stand out from the background a lot better. Add some to its back here. You don't have to go all around. Just focus on this top area and the top of its tail over here. That's looking nice. Let's zoom out again. Now, of course, this cat, it will cast a shadow on the floor behind it. We are going to add that. First thing we'll do is duplicate our cat by swiping to the left, then click duplicate. First, let's move our canvas up a little bit. So we have some room, then click the move tool and select flip vertical. Now drag the cat down and then while you have free form selected let's drag our cat make it longer because we have this long stretched stretched out um, shadow for our cat. This is looking nice now click the arrow again then Go to the layer menu and click this layer 11, that second layer 11, and then click select. Turn off color fill and then select invert. Now we can turn off this cat layer and then we'll go all the way down to layer six. Click that layer and then select mask. Then click the S shape ribbon again, and let's see. You can see that that area of the shadow is masked right now. Now we are going to make one final adjustment because shadows are very crisp near the subject, but they get a little bit more blurry as you move away from the subject. So let's do that. Let's go to that layer mask, click the layer mask, and then go to the magic wand, click Gaussian blur, and select pencil. Then go to your pencil and use the soft brush under airbrushing. Let's make it a little bit smaller, 10%, and go over that lower area of the cat's head and blur that area a little bit and a little bit of its tail. Like that. And then just click the magic wand again and check your result. And that's it. You have created this window with a view in Procreate. I hope you have enjoyed following this tutorial. If you did, then be sure to let me know in the comments and do check out all the other You Can Draw This video tutorials. There's a whole playlist. And if you can't get enough, then you might want to check out my Patreon page where I share a lot more video tutorials ranging from beginner level to more advanced levels. 
I will see you next time for the next You Can Draw This video tutorial.